In this video, you'll see how to configure a master automation management account with the required roles, so you can save time and enhance security by running AWS Systems Manager automations across multiple Amazon Web Services regions and accounts. Creating a master automation management account in AWS allows you to centrally implement patching and security updates, remediate compliance drift on virtual private cloud configurations, or Amazon S3 bucket policies, and manage resources such as Amazon EC2 instances at scale. Here, we're already signed into the AWS Identity and Access Management, or IAM account, that will become the Automation Master account. Let's take a quick look at our other AWS accounts. In this case, two additional accounts have been set up. Each of these accounts is running three Elastic Compute Cloud or EC2 instances in a different region from the first account. Notice that each instance has a value of sample app for the application tag. When you run an automation across multiple regions and accounts, resources are targeted by using tags or the name of an AWS resource group. The automation will not run on resources that don't have the specified tag or that aren't included in the specified resource group. Now let's see how to configure the Automation Master account. The first step is to create the required IAM execution and administration roles. AWS Systems Manager Online Documentation provides two downloadable CloudFormation templates to assist you in configuring these roles. Let's download them. This first template will configure the IAM execution role to give you permission to run automation workflows. You must create this role in every account that you want to target to run multi-region and multi-account automations. The second template will configure the IAM administration role in the Automation Master account. This role gives you permission to run automation workflows in multiple AWS accounts and organizational units. Next, let's navigate to the AWS Management Console to access AWS CloudFormation. Here, we're going to create the stack for the Automation Administration role, which will be used to execute automation jobs across multiple accounts. Let's upload the template we downloaded earlier. Provide a name for this stack. Now, proceed through the rest of the configuration and review the settings. Select the checkbox to acknowledge the terms, and then create the stack. Let's quickly review the resources we just created. Here, you can see the administration role we just created using the template. Notice that this Automation Administration role allows you to assume the Automation Execution role, which will need to be set up in the environments where you want to target automations. Before we see how to do that, let's review the policy summary. Now that we've configured the Automation Master account, let's switch to one of our other AWS accounts to set up the Automation Execution role. Again. We'll use CloudFormation. Here, we're going to create the stack for the automation execution role, which will be used to run automation workflows. Upload the template. Provide a name for this stack. For the Automation Execution role, you must also provide the Master Account ID as a parameter. Let's see where you can find that value. Switch back to your Automation Master Account and navigate to your My Account page. In the Account Settings, copy the Account ID. Now, return to the Stack Details to paste the ID and continue the configuration process.
Review the details, accept the terms, and then create the stack. Let's quickly review the resources we just created. Here, you can see the automation execution role that was created by the template. Reviewing the execution policy, you can see the different actions that you are allowed to perform using this role. You can also see that the master account you will use to execute automations is listed as a trusted entity. You will need to repeat the process of configuring the automation execution role for each AWS account you want to target to run multi-account automations. You can even configure the automation execution role on the automation master account if you want to execute automations there. Now, we'll fast forward to the completed configuration of the automation execution role in a second AWS account. Let's return to the Automation Master Account and navigate to Systems Manager to verify the multi-account automation. Select Execute Automation. In this case, let's run a very simple automation to stop the EC2 instances in both accounts. You can run more complex automations in your own environment using the AWS documents provided, or even create your own automation documents. First, select the Automation document and click Next. Here, select the Multi-Account and Region option. Next, provide the account ID for each account where you want to target the automation. Specify the AWS regions where you want the automation to run. Select the targets on which the automation document will run. In this case, let's use tags. The automation will run based on the specific tag value that you specify as the target. In this case, our target is the sample app application in each instance. Review the rest of the options and then click Execute to run the automation. The execution of the automation might take a while, depending on how many accounts and environments are targeted. As the automation runs, you can monitor its progress from here. The automation completed successfully. You can select an executed step to get more detailed information about it. Let's finish by taking a quick look at one of the accounts where the automation ran. As you can see, all three instances were stopped as intended. You've just seen how to configure a master automation management account with the required roles so you can save time and enhance security by running AWS Systems Manager automations across multiple AWS regions and accounts. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.